You know enterprise use cases when it comes to foundational models. Can you break some of those down for us? I, I talked to one of our, our customers, at a large you know, top three US bank, and they, they said that they were thinking about submitting something to their model risk management committee about getting GPT-3 in production. And they, they likened it to an art project, uh, kind of a, a Don Quixote like tilting at windmills uh, activity. <laughs> so this was their, you know, their, their pessimism about when that would happen, given that they're, they're still even challenges getting modern deep learning models kind of through to production. And there are cost barriers. These things are very expensive. There are latency barriers. They, they take time. We're going to chip away at that. One of the biggest ones is, is when you also throw in governance, because we are just beginning to understand these, these large foundation models. It's actually doing really exciting things on the academic side, where it's almost like a return to natural sciences world, where you're kind of poking and prodding yeah. empirically rather than and just reasoning formally. But yeah. I think enterprises are, are, are justified in, in saying, hey, we have to understand a bit more before we just kind of serve GPT-3 to customers, even if we can solve the cost challenges. So 